Good morning, church. Welcome to our daily devotion inside. I want to close up and end off the, the series of devotion I share with you on passion and purpose. You know, we have talked about you know our pursuit in life, then we talk about the ingredients, uh, the seven uh, eight essential that we need to have, and then I want to end off with this: the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. Sometimes we thought that you know when we have this eight ingredients, that's it. But you know what? When you reach all the things you need to do, you're not at the, the best is yet to come. God has greater things for you. Amen. Amen. Let's read Ephesians two verse ten says. God does both the making and the saving. He creates each of us by Christ Jesus to join in Him the work He does. The good work He has gotten ready for us to do, work we had better be doing. God has created for you and I for greater things ahead, not just what He has planned for us. Now, every time when we come almost to the end of what He wants us to do, He has new plan unfold to us, you and I. Amen? And the Bible tells us also in John chapter 15, verse 8, it says, My true disciples produce bountiful harvest, and this brings great glory to my Father. You know what it says? It says that when you have you have been fruitful when you have been achieving great things and you are doing what God wants you to do. The Bible says it, it, it brings glory to the Lord, but there are greater things that God has planned for you and I to do. So don't settle for the good, but the best is yet to come and He has greater things. Amen? So therefore, no matter who you are, no matter what gifts or talents God given you, you know, and the deg- or the degrees to which you develop them, no matter the accomplishment, the achievements or the degree of success you already experience in your life. God still have more for you and there is still something to be and to do. There's more of God for you to be who you are better to be and, and more you can do for Him. He, His very best lies ahead of you. Don't stop where you have come to achievement, to a standard, to a position, to a level you are. God has greater plan for you and greater things for your life. Amen? Amen? So, how can I be sure of that, that God has greater things for me? The best, the best is here to come. You know, because if you are in right relationship with God, what eventually lies ahead, ahead for you, all right, is eternal life in heaven. That means God is waiting to clap his hand and say, the angels are here to clap his hand and say, welcome home, good and faithful sir. You not only have done what God has laid ahead of you, but God has greater plan for you. And you have done those two, you have seek those two. You are looking towards those as well. Amen. You have absolutely no concept of how fantastic heaven is. You may think you know, but anything you know is only a small fraction even if that of the way it really is. It's just a small fraction. The way it is is far more greater than our comprehension, you know, and our knowledge. You have no uh, concept of what is going to be like to live in the near presence of God and have eternity to do all He might ask you to do in heaven and as on earth. You know, between now and when you go to heaven, God desires to build up, build upon it and take you from height to greater height, from strength to greater strength, uh, 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 from glory to greater glory, from achievement to greater achievement, from prosperity to greater prosperity. And that's His plan for everyone who believe in Him. Therefore, no matter what you know, you have, you have known as the best of life in the past, only a prelude of a greater things that God has for you and your life. You know what we have achieved in the past? What we achieved yesterday is just a prelude. It's just the beginning of something greater. Another door is open to you to be to do greater things for God and for greater achievements. Ask God what you can do to better prepare yourself for what lies ahead for of your life 
You know, ask Him to reveal in which you need to pursue your full potential, your full purpose, your full calling in life on this earth. Ask Him to tell you where to make changes in your life, in your career, in your ministry, in your relationships, in your education, in your work, with all, with, uh, will, and that will allow you to achieve all the blessing that God has in store for you. Ask Him where you need to make changes to do greater things for his kingdom amen amen and this is very important then you don't only ask him you need to learn to eliminate anything standing in the way of your pursuit of your pursuit or your pursuing of your passion your purpose and God-given potential with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Amen? And you know what? Face up to, deal with, and overcome any obstacles in your path. You know, as you, as you pursue your passion and your purpose and God-given potential with all your heart, soul, and spirit, and body, and, and, and strength. You know what? There will be opposition. There will be challenges. There will be difficulties that you will, they will come up on you and you have to deal with. But you know what? Never throw in your towel. Just say, I hold on. I hang on. Because you know what? My God is with me. And I can do it. And His grace is sufficient for me to achieve all that God has for you and for me. Amen. Ask God to work in you, to make the changes you and I need in life, to achieve and to adapt to the future, to the new challenges ahead of us. Amen. Believe, you must believe that God's best lies ahead. Then get ready to do it, to achieve it, and to receive it for your own life. Don't wait another day to reach your full potential for God. Today is the day you can be the person God wants you to be. Amen? One more time. You can be the person that God wants you to be. Because you know why? Today, you can reach your full potential if you seek God, if you trust God, if you believe God, if you hang on and do what God wants you to do. Amen? So, don't settle for the rest. You have not arrived yet. Amen? When you have come to this level of what God has for you, hey, Take note, well done. Another door open for you. The greater things that God has for you, in store for you tomorrow. Amen? Amen? The best has yet to come. Don't stop where you are today. Say to the Lord, say to yourself, Lord, open the door and say to yourself, I want to have more new frontier and achievement in my life. Because the, yet, the best is yet to to come. Amen? Let's pray. Father, we pray that you help us to pursue you and continue to press on, continue to believe, continue to trust, continue to receive, continue to hang on, continue to say, you know what, God, I want to do more things for you. I want to grow from height to greater height. I want to grow from strength to greater strength. I want to grow from glory to greater glory. I want to go from achievement to greater achievement. I go from prosperity to the greater, greater prosperous life in you because you are a great God. Help us and grant us the strength and the grace and bless us with a great day and help us to be great achiever for you. All this we pray and all this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. You have a great day. Amen. And God bless you. The best is yet to come for your life and for all my life. Hang on. Push on. Amen. God bless you.